Good morning. So, it's sad when our great teacher comes first, but what actually is more hard to break in is when the is actually gone for good. So, this is the story of our late teacher, who's called Mr. Matata. So, he died. He died from a fatal gas explosion accident. So we thought he was a physics teacher. So we thought that he could use the knowledge he was given us in physics to design something, a gadget that would avoid leakage and prevent gas explosions. So want, most of you are wondering what Okoga Belgium means. Okoga is a Swahili word. It comes from a Swahili word, which means Okoa means saving. So this is basically a company name, Okoga, Okoa Gas Gauge. So the problem we are trying to solve is explosions due to gas leakage. And the second problem we are trying to solve is the embarrassment when we are trying to cook and then the gas goes off without any warning. So we are trying to like redesign a device that will actually tell you when the gas is almost in the We are also trying to make a device that is going to detect fraud. There are so many people out there which are saying gas cylinders which are leaking and are half full. So with our gadget, we are going to make the device that is going to detect those problems. So before we came with this solution, we had this is our first prototype. We had to learn about how this regulators work. So we found that this is a low pressure regulator and then when we are using this one, this is a high pressure gauge. It's not going to work. So it's not going to deflect because the low pressure gauge and this is a high pressure gauge, the deviation is very small. So we had to come up with a second prototype. On the solution part, uh, we designed a low gas gauge. So we have here a low pressure gas gauge uh, where we took it from the fire extinguishers and redesigned it to our specification. So this will detect gas leakages and also show the amount of gas in a cylinder. For the short test, when you insert it in your cylinder, the, the, the gauge will measure the amount of gas and it, and it will show you if the gas is full or you have been tricked and given a cylinder which is half full. <laughs> so at target market, what we are actually doing is the problem is basically on our community so we got to start with our community. So we found that the houses in Mombasa is 268,700 houses in Mombasa is the market market. So we're going to target also the learning institution because they're going to use the gas. We found that in Mombasa, there are like around 200 schools in Mombasa. And the hotels, around 400 hotels in Mombasa, and immense suppliers will measure them as our last category because this is a safety equipment. So they are going to incorporate it as a safety feature, which every house should have it. Okay, on the market size, we found that uh, 24,315 households in Mombasa use LPG. So with our device, majority of the other use paraffin, but with our device we can uh, convince them enough to show that uh, you can detect the gas leakages and maybe you can make them buy uh, uh, the gas gauge and also change into the gas. Also right now, the petrol, uh, the cost of petrol is going high, while the gas is lowering. So we'll be convincing them to change to LPG. Paraffin is also a fossil fuel. It produces soot when it's burned, but with LPG, they don't produce soot. So it's efficient. So our business model. So actually, the company model actually does. We import the gas gauge from the gas cylinder and then we design it to our specification which will actually going to detect the amount of gas and uh, detect what we actually do with our companies to manufacture we import the gas gauge low pressure gas gauge and then we redesign it to our specification to measure the amount of gas in the cylinder and detect leakage we're also going to, to redesign the scale in the gauge so that the normal one inch in Kenya can understand because the normal gauge they, they come in PSI levels. Most people don't know what PSI means, most people don't know what bar means. So we'll like redesign it so that the normal one inch will know this is full, this is empty, this is leaking, something like that. 
Also, our company will be a social entrepreneurship company where the income we get 75% will be a profit and we'll use it to run the company while the other goes to charity. Okay, when it comes to competition, we have a competition in our market and that is healthy. Okay, gasimeter uh, is a competitor and electric gas detector from an university student in Nairobi, in part of Nairobi. Uh, it's electric, electric gas detector. Actually, for the electric gas detector, it was uh, innovated some months ago by a university student, but it has disadvantages. Uh, it can uh, cause a spark which, uh, when leaking, uh, just uh, an explosion <coughs> will come. The other thing with the electrical gas detector is that it uses electricity. And the, the thing with the electric gas detector, you, you have to put it in a specific place. And with my understanding with gases, there is diffusion or something like that. So it, it will take time for the gas to diffuse to the gas detector. So that is not very efficient. But with the advice, it's fixed in the gas system. So it actually detects leakage in the system, not something that is fixed away from the system. <coughs> Here is the question. Why is Ogoa gas gauge better? One, purity. Our product is going to kill two birds with one stone. That means it's going to detect gas leakage and also measure the amount of gas in the ceiling. Another, electricity. Ours is electricity free. So it, it helps us that when there is electricity in the gadget, it can cause a spark, like my friend has said, and a spark with gases, they don't go hand in hand. Another one, user friend, ours actually, you can look at the scale, it's written in Kiswahili so the common person can understand. <laughs> Another one is affordability. Ours is, is actually going to be affordable because it is going to use, it is going to be at a price of one, but two devices in one price. Thank you. For the for our future plans, we we want to ex we want to extend the market and also invent our own decade specific gauge. <coughs> we are the founding team, and thanks to our mentor, Mr. Andrew Kelo, and our teacher, Madam Fitzgerald.